Nicola Sturgeon resumed her place in the First Minister's official residence today. Having won the election, she says the pandemic is her first priority, but with almost half of Scotland backing her party, she's gone straight to work trying to win the argument for another referendum. Um, the SNP won the election on offering people a referendum after the Covid crisis to determine the issue of independence. It strikes me that saying that people in Scotland uh, are split on the issue is actually an argument for settling it in a referendum, not an argument against. To get that independence referendum, the Scottish Parliament must first vote for it. But with the SNP and Greens forming a majority in favour here, that will be a formality. Then the First Minister will write to the Prime Minister requesting the powers to give Scots that democratic choice. Scotland's First Minister has now spoken directly with the UK Prime Minister for the first time since these elections. Her spokesperson says that in that call she made it clear she believes Scotland having another independence referendum is no longer a matter of if, it's now just a matter of when. There is a glimmer of agreement in that from the UK government telling me today their objection is also based on timing. Are you saying never or are you saying not now? Well, not now. No, I think that well, we, Not never? Uh, no, well, obviously uh, it is the case that uh, uh, the, the, there is a, an understandable uh, debate uh, that, uh, that people can have in the future, but for the moment we absolutely need to concentrate on recovery. In your mind, what would be the time frame for having that debate sensibly? Well, I'm not concentrating on that at the moment. I mean, I'm, I'm not putting it into my mind at all. People in Scotland are thinking about it. You, you understand Well, uh, journalists in Scotland are asking about it. Nicola Sturgeon will soon be asking about it. First Minister, when is the time? But she knows Scotland is still split down the middle. So those who favour staying in the Union um, don't want a second referendum at all. Um, those who are pro-independence in the main do want one in the next in the next parliamentary term. But once the immediate crisis is of, of Covid is, is over. But of course none of this is settled. Neither the First Minister nor the Prime Minister is rushing to a referendum. They both fear they could lose. But the campaign for Scotland's future has already begun. Peter Smith, ITV News, Edinburgh.